Results have yet again gone in West Ham's favour. It happens so often every single season. West Ham get lucky. And this has happened again because Sheffield United beating Everton's had really significant implications. It means that if West Ham win one of the remaining two games, we will qualify for Europe. So this game against West Brom has me nervous, especially because, like I say, if we win, we're in. If we lose, it's going to be nervy and going down to the final day. So that's why this game against West Brom is of the utmost importance. We have to, have to get it right. West Ham have two games now to make or break the season. All of this season's hard work is relying on these final two games. Not results going in West Ham's favour, not luck, fate and chance. West Ham have to beat West Brom and Southampton to absolutely ensure European football comes to the bowl next season. I cannot stress this enough, how nervous I am for tomorrow. This game against West Brom has huge implications. Not at least for us. West Brom are already down. What more do they have to lose? They'll want a win just because it's not going to matter either way for them. And oh yeah, they got fans back in the stadium. So that's a boost for West Brom. For us, we've got to make sure we get this job done. Make sure that we beat West Brom. We've already done it once this season. And we can do it again. Learn from what we did against Brighton. And get the result because it's now or never. What do West Brom and West Ham have in common? Well, look at the managers. Pardew, Bilic, Allardyce. Those three have managed both clubs. This season was the tale of two ex-West Ham managers. Slaven Bilic started off as West Brom manager, having guided them to promotion from the championship the season before. He was sacked on December 16th and replaced by Sam Allardyce, who grew up supporting West Brom and grew up in Birmingham as well. Allardyce had never been relegated as a Premier League manager prior to him taking over at West Brom. And this is only the second relegation of his entire managerial career. The one previous to this was with Notts County in 1997. So that just shows you how long he's been in the game and how he's achieved success at keeping teams up. He'd done it with seven Premier League clubs, I believe. And... Even more so, he was unable to do it with West Brom. That was the issue. This calendar year did not help. West Brom only won four games. Despite a 5-2 win away at Chelsea that gave the side confidence, they couldn't build on that. Last few games have confirmed relegation. Losing 2-1 to Arsenal and recently losing 2-1 to Liverpool in which Liverpool's goalkeeper Alisson scored with the last touch of the game to further add insult to injury to the baggies. Since Matthias Pereira's name's been circulating around Twitter, I thought I'd mention him first. A lot of West Ham fans say that if Lingard doesn't sign for West Ham, the club should go all out for Pereira because he'll want to play in the Premier League next season. Yeah, OK, that's fair enough because Pereira's got pace, skill and technical ability that Lingard has. Also, Pereira's good at striking from distance and he's good at creating chances, especially when he's in space. He exploits into the attacking zone and either puts through balls in or takes chances himself. Um, he can also shoot on sight, which is another good sign of a player. Just like Jesse Lingard was shooting a lot and creating those chances, Pereira does it as well. I think he'd be a great asset to any team. And if Lingard doesn't end up signing, yeah, I could... Definitely settle for Pereira. Callum Robinson didn't have the best of times with Sheffield United last season and was part of a swap deal that sent Oliver Burt to Sheffield United and Robinson to Birmingham. Robinson has five goals and 23 appearances this season and I think that I've put him in this because he's proven a bit of a point. He's been good at getting into space, especially on the wing. And is good at getting into one-on-one -on -one situations with the goalkeeper. Sam Johnston's been a bright light on what has been a bit of a poor season for West Brom because of his consistent performances. He's going to be quite in demand this summer. 
I know that he's been mentioned on West Ham's radar a few times. Um, look, he's 28 years old. He could potentially get called up to the Euro squad. He's already represented England at under-21 level. And, you know, he's a physical, agile goalkeeper. West Brom have been lucky to have him. And also, Johnson's learnt from the best. He's learnt from David De Gea at Manchester United and Sir Alex Ferguson from back when Johnston was a youth player. And he's adapted those lessons into his modern game. And it's made him a very competent and very good goalkeeper. Robert Snodgrass joined West Ham from Hull City in January 2017, but it took him a full 18 months to really get into West Ham's first team. He had a loan spell at Aston Villa for the 2017-18 season and then came back to win a place in the first team in the summer of 2018 and did so. He left West Ham in January 2021 to join West Bromwich Albion. Unfortunately, he will not be playing for the remainder of the season due to surgery. But it's how he's conducting himself off the pitch that really makes him a standout footballer and a true gent. He did so much for West Ham in the time that he was at the club. Often talking to fans on Twitter, helping fans out in need and donating to the Isla Caton Fund. He has been a fantastic representative of West Ham United Football Club and I wish Snoddy nothing but the best for the future. I'm nervous for tomorrow, um, so I want to say 2-1 win to West Ham, but West Brom won't make this easy. If we get first goal and we get this game under control, we've got every chance of beating them. But what makes me nervous even before that is that there are teams playing before us on the day, and I'll be keeping an eye on those results before I can make any solid judgement about what West Ham are going to do. But I'm nervous for tomorrow, because we've got a lot on the line here. But I want to say 2-1 to West Ham. Thank you very much for watching Opposition Uncovered. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. I am really nervous to even talking about this West Brom game. Hopefully West Ham can calm my nerves tomorrow and get the win. I'm sure if you're a West Ham fan and you're watching this, you'll be thinking the same as well. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you all soon.